This message is for the government, whoever gets to see it, you know, whoever gets to see it, whatever, all right? There are veterans out here that serve their country well. And I was proud, I was proud to serve with them, all right? All we ask is to be get treated fairly, you know what I'm saying? I don't want more than the next man. I don't need extra, I don't need none of that. I just need what's owed to me. Over 800,000 cases of the VA are still behind. What's the hold up? I bet Obama ain't waiting on his check. I got medicines to help my medicine. It's kind of as stupid as my motherfucking loan I got to fucking help my fucking loan. You know what I'm saying? I'm riding around in the car, they don't, they don't even, they ain't even mine no more. It's fucked up. It's fucked up. Wife don't know who I am. My kids don't know who the fuck I am. I don't know who the fuck I am. I don't know what's up. I don't know what's down. There's always something looking, you know what I'm saying? There's always something around. What the fuck, man? I'm an American soldier. I'm a warrior and a member of a team. Motherfuckers. <laughs> June 15, 2013, in the Chevrolet Suburban, I committed suicide, but they brought me back. Paranoia, hallucinations, constant fear of being attacked, I put my family through hell, and they followed me deeper, deeper into the abyss until they had to let go. No one could hold their breath forever. After that, I just gave up. Life hasn't been the same since. I often wonder if I actually woke up. I was married, lived with five of my kids, two dogs, and a huge two-story house. But that's all gone now. Most people claim they understand what I'm going through, but they don't. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory. Amen. For the last few years, I've been in and out of psych wards. Sometimes I go just to be around other vets. Sometimes I go just to hide from the civilian world. During my last stay at Haven Behavioral Military Hospital, my eyes were opened. I learned about my triggers and what sets them off. I learned how to talk myself off the ledge, even though sometimes I lose focus. Now I stay alone in an apartment and I'm constantly cleaning. I pray that one day my family will return, but it's, it's been over a year. I'm not sure if they'll ever come back. Well, I called the bank three times and they said there's nothing in there, so it doesn't make any sense why the VA is supposed to be paying me. What are you All doing? Of my hey, let me call you back. Listen, listen, listen. Back up, back up, back up. Just take, just take it easy. I see things out of the corner of my eyes. I try to convince myself it's my mind that it's all in my head.
The VA doctors think all of our problems can be solved by popping a few pills. Half of my meds were uppers, the other half were downers. Then I had meds to counteract side effects from the other meds. Antipsychotics, pain pills, nerve blocks, sleeping pills. On average, I'm popping 32 pills a day. Some are mood stabilizers. Some are supposed to stop the nightmares. The end result? Extreme nausea. I've become obsessed with smells ever since the event. The smell of sulfur, gun cleaner, and singed hair has burnt into my nose. I'm constantly pacing, readjusting furniture, looking at pictures of my babies, just trying to stay busy, you know? Or trying to explain to my kid's mother why I can't pay my child support. Most people claim they understand what I'm going through, but they don't. I stay to myself to avoid the pointless conversations. There's dozens of titles they label us with, dozens of psychological explanations. They say this is a normal reaction to abnormal events. <laughs> abnormal events. Yeah. I guess that's close. I hit the gym to waste some time and try to get swole up. I pray to God when I roll out the wire, I don't get blown up. That I don't get shut down. Feeling like I'm on lockdown. They giving me pills cause I'm on my mind. I'm not right now. And right now I'm a lost soldier in my country. Stuck, they trying to hunt me, shoot me and cut me. Man, it's getting ugly. I sacrificed my life for the 13 stripes and the 50 stars. For the millionaires with they six houses and they 15 cars. For the overpaid actors who jack us for taxes. For the business execs with their house on the lake trip to take me while I'm in the humpy 120 degrees eating cheese and crackers. You gotta be kidding. I'm more, more dead than I am alive in the soldier life that I'm living. And I gave up my kids and I gave up my wife and I gave up my right. And I did it for what? When I walk in the store with my civilian clothes, they still look at me cold. They can't figure out my strut. You ain't gotta like me. You ain't gotta put a front on for me. Without my uniform, I'm just another fucking nigga to you. I'm a lost soldier in my country. I raise my right hand to the sky. And for my country, I give my life. Man, I don't really wanna die. 
but someone out here got a try. I didn't know what I was getting myself into. The army loved my criminal credentials. They saw the violence is harvested potential. The pay off the state lawyer was essential. And less than one percent can say they do what I can. I protect ninety-nine percent of Americans. The very best I can, man. I'm a lost soldier in my country. The lifestyle of a soldier. Pride over ego, nerves of steel, with the eye of an ego to the extent that we go to protect our land, are often overlooked by everyday civilians. We slave all day, we sleep in those tents, so our wife and kids can eat and not worry about rent. Daddy's on the phone, cause daddy's not at home. Daddy's at war, destination unknown. Will he come back walking or will he come back in a coffin? They pray for my widow cause daddy ain't scared of nothing. You ain't gotta like me. You ain't gotta put a front up for me. What type of uniform is just another motherfucking nigga to you? I'm a lost soldier in my country.